Yeah, I got one. It's not the one anymore. I literally just got back from seeing Captain America Civil War. Great movie, by the way. Spider-Man and Black Panther kicked butt. So much fun to watch. Like I said, I just got back from the movie. The HTC 10 arrived today. One day shipping, ordered it Wednesday. Got here, I was at work when I arrived to my house, so I had to wait for them to get back to the FedEx location so I could go pick it up. By the time I picked it up, it was too late. I had to get ready to go to the movie. So, now I'm back, and now it's time to <laughs> unbox this thing. Basically, just go through these steps. It's going to tell you if everything's working okay or not and let you know that you're not going to be able to make any phone calls while this setup is going on. You can share my precise location, share my personal usage data. I'm not going to do either one of those and hit next. So this is the normal activation screen. You can copy your Google accounts and apps from another device or you can start from scratch. I'm going to do copy your Google accounts apps and data from the other device and I'm gonna be using my Nexus 6P. Make sure your other device is unlocked and also the two devices are back to back until you hear a tone. So let's go ahead and do that. It's on the home screen on both. You hear the little sound. I really love that this is even an option. It makes it very nice to swap over to another device. Very easy, very simple. I love this option. We can actually set up our fingerprint right away. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, see how quick this is. Looks like it's about the same time frame as like a Galaxy device would be. I think the Nexus 6P has been the quickest device. All right, so there's that one. I like to add four fingerprints, especially when the fingerprint is on the home button because you can add your thumb for when you're doing normal use, but if you have it flat on a surface or in a car mount or something like that, you can use your index finger to get that done. All right, got the fingerprints in there. Now it's just got to restore. It's going to add all my apps, my Google accounts, all that fun stuff. Once I got through the welcome setup, I'm already back on Nova Launcher, which is my preference. I like to use that a lot, so I'm going to hit always for that. And it loaded up the wallpaper that I'm using on my Nexus 6P, so that's really cool stuff. All right, so the back button is on the left-hand side. Something I gotta get used to again. Resense is on the right-hand side. I do like how it has a clear all, so that's nice. So it's restoring my applications, 129 of them. I'll probably go through and delete some of the restoration apps because I don't use all of those. Like my Nexus 6P has apps that I'm not gonna use on here, so there's no point in having them on there. So I'm just gonna do away with those. Let's do a quick tour around this. This definitely looks like stock Android, which is awesome. What's really neat is that when it restores your accounts, because of the restore process that I did, it remembered my Wi-Fi and the password. So I'm already connected to Wi-Fi without having to re-enter my password. Let's check out the settings real quick. It's definitely looking like stock Android. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so let's look and see what's gonna be different from any other phone. One, you're gonna have HTC Boom Sound with Dolby Audio. That's gonna be fun. The rest of it kind of looks pretty similar. Let's go to the about phone to see what it came with. Android version 6.0.1, software number. Got all our other information there. There's just a couple things I want to check out real quick before I close out this video. And that is definitely the camera. I want to see what it's going to look like. Definitely going to deny the location. Don't need to know that info for my photos. It's a pretty clean look on the front page. I like the access to the photo and video. I actually like how it doesn't start recording right away. And if you want to turn it around, you do it like that. It looks like it might start. That's an, okay. 
it says two up there. Selfie photo, HDR auto, just kind of see what comes stock on it right now. Flash is off. So we got our settings. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Grid off, geotag, blah, shutter sound. I'll turn that off. Camera options. You can get some auto smile, auto selfie capture, and auto voice capture. I like that. I like having those options, put it that way. Okay, just a quick toggle there. We got a resolution, it looks like, or, okay, no, it's a quick mode to the different ratios. And that's for the front facing camera, mind that. Makeup, I guess that's like that beauty shot that Samsung devices have. I mean, why do I gotta, I don't gotta fix this. Let's flip it back around. Go back to our settings and see what else we got. So we got pro features, panorama, Zoe camera, photo. There's gotta be more options. Okay, all right, there we go. There's more options. We got video, hyperlapse, slow motion. I really like having both of these options pre-installed. I don't wanna install a separate app to get to those. That's something that you have to do on even Nexus devices or stock Android. Like you can't get those in there. You have to get a different camera app. Selfie photo, selfie video, settings. So it seems like we're back to that stuff. Okay, it's got mostly what I want, what I need. I wanna see how fast it focuses on subjects. Seems like that was okay. It's decently quick. The Galaxy S7 Edge, man, that thing focused really fast. It's also got some of that color correction going on. You can see as it get closer, it changes, but when I move away, it looks more white, which is actually what I like. So you got some options here. Ooh, yeah, that tap to focus isn't working that great. Okay, that snapped pretty quick. That was nice. I like that. Since I've had this turned on, I have noticed that the back feels a little bit warmer than I would probably prefer. It might be because it's the first initial setup. We'll have to see if that continues or not as I use it over time. There's a simple feature that I like on every phone and that is when you long press the power button, what kind of power or restart options do you have? It's got the restart. I like having that. Stock Android doesn't have that. It's just one of those things that they should have had a long time ago. I'm not trying to like diss stock Android. It's just a preference of mine. I like to have more features that are useful and make just simple things like turning or rebooting your phone quicker and easier to do. Let's take a little look around the phone before I close out the video. I am liking the chamfered edge. It's a pretty unique little design. Something I'm noticing too is that I'm not seeing a bunch of fingerprints all over this and that's because of the build material. The metal build material doesn't attract fingerprints or at least you don't see it with the silver edition. The camera does protrude just a little bit. It's not much, but I'll be putting a case on this thing anyways. With that said, stay tuned to the channel because I will have some case reviews coming up really soon. That's actually kind of interesting how this is like a white little panel here, not really silver in color. So we got our headphone jack on the top. This is where the SD card goes, which is on the left-hand side. Next to the volume rocker and the power button is the SIM card tray. On the bottom we have our speaker, USB type C connection along with the microphone. And on the back hand side, you can see the antenna strip. On the back, we got our camera, we got our LED light, and also a laser focus, which is awesome. I love having laser focuses. If you can remember, the Verizon logos used to be so bad. They used to have not only the Verizon logo, but the 4G LTE, like two logos. They really minimized it, it's not that bad. Not to mention many people put a case or a skin over their devices, including myself. I don't particularly like all that though. That I think that they could try to figure out something else to do with all that information. It is rather subtle, so it's not that big a deal. It does feel a little bit textured though, so it's not just a flat paint kind of job, but you can kind of feel it. Definitely stick around and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you can see more HTC 10 videos coming your way. I plan to do up my first 48 hours video coming up in 48 hours, along with my full review coming up in about one or two weeks, along with some accessories, tips, tricks, or anything else I wanna share with you guys about the HTC 10. Thank you so much for watching the video, I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share this with your favorite social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and until then, stay techy.